Hey there, Allegheny Jam guitar two pickers. Got a little bit of mold in the ground and D with a nice a couple of licks to work on. And just kind of working on the, the melody's pretty easy going, but we, it sounds great on the guitar. But one, break it up in a couple of different little maneuvers, and I think you'll have a nice little thing to work on and enjoy playing it as a uh, just the chords for the song. But right now, the melody we're working on. So play a D chord. Let's just play a regular D chord for a second. Then I want you just to change your fingers a little exercise where your, your uh, first string finger is going to want to take the place of that second string note. So my third finger saying... Come over here, uh, first string note. So I'm going to pick up uh, my first string finger and put it on the second string. So I end up with this. My first finger is on the, the second fret, third string. And then I have my second finger on the D note, which is the third fret. So that's the... I want you just to try that, try that a few times. Get your D chord. And then just do a little pivot. You can kind of think of your first finger as a pivot. You can just kind of swing around the gate there. You're, you're getting that finger. So from here to there. See how I'm going from that first string with that note? My, this third finger's coming off, getting out of the picture for a minute. It says, y'all go ahead and do the chord. I'll let y'all have that shape. So that's going to be a real anchor for our first lick in Mole of the Ground. Okay, so let's try it one more time. D chord. Then we're going to focus on that uh, swinging off, pivoting over, and getting that D note with my second finger. So there's your note you want to work on. And then I want you to work on reaching over to the fourth string with your third finger and getting that fourth fret. And basically what's happening, just to let you hear this, you're putting that high note over in the bass. See if you can hear that. I pivot. And that's going to be, and so what I want you to work on is being able to pick that, uh, hold that first and second finger in place, pick the fourth string and strum, put your third finger down the fourth fret, then pick the third string and go to that third string. You, It's almost like a pretty boogie woogie without the bluesy note. So that's the little territory we're going to be traveling in. So it's like a, just practice that exercise. So you have an exercise, just reach up the fourth fret, third string, and then you go over to third string, fourth fret. So you, the third finger gets a little dance in there. Open fourth, fourth fret, third finger, second string, little finger on the fourth fret, third string. So what happens when you put a little slide in there? So you get this first part. I wish I was a mole in the ground. I'll do that a couple times. Pretty cool. So I'm getting getting anchored with that that new partial D chord. We'll call it right. And then I'm going slide. I'm going from the third fret to the fourth. Slide and get my partial D chord. And work that third string with a little finger. Third finger, sorry. Four to open. And then I'm going to give you a little, uh, the traveling note we were doing, that fifth string open. And your first finger travels over there and gets the second fret. And jumps back to where it was. And I'm playing the full D chord, if you like. There. So here's the whole first lick. start a little bass walk back one more time wish I was a mole in the ground sounds great one more time first phrase I wish I was a mole Pick up that first string. I'm going to slide down the neck. This is going to be fun. Down to the seventh fret on the second string with my third finger. Let's see if we can find that. Just find that seventh fret. I've got a double dot on mine. Your guitar may be different. But the seventh fret, second string. And then I'm going to get a little high note there, a little, little color note in there, the fifth fret. So I'm just going up to that seventh fret, second string, fifth fret, first string, back to that second string, then the open, first string. I'm going back down to that partial D we had. Okay, so that's the next little phrase. Here's the first one going into it. So you hear it, uh, first phrase. First string open up to that seven, five, 
seven open first. And that little two-figure D we've been doing. Then we're going to do a bluesy note. It could be the first uh, fret, second string, or you can go down to third string, fifth fret. It's a bluesy C note. And you're going to get just a, an A chord when that third string is... So let me do those together. First phrase. That little bass walk. And kind of climb up to the first string. Open up to seven and five. Open first. And the bluesy wall A chord. And you go back to that high again. Okay. We're going to have one more phrase there. Let's do that second phrase one more time, though. Uh, I'll do, my, do that much one more time, then we're going to learn a little G lick, and we're about to the end of the song, which is the crowd goes wild, and everybody has fun, and uh, they, might, uh, they might buy you a chocolate cupcake or something, because they, they sound so good. So here's the whole thing up to that part. So... Got a bass wall coming up. Open to... Up to the first string, open. Up to that seven, five, seven, first string, open. And the third string five four A chord on two two and two in the inside strings back to that right high phrase again same thing now we're going to get a new shape here we're going to go uh, slide from the third fret to the fourth fret and then get that uh, it's kind of the, uh, slanting the other way four and three okay so you have that Now, you can even borrow the first two strings if you like. Get an F shape there. And you're going to walk back down. And here's the funnest part of the whole thing. You get a bluesy slide from three to two. So I'll do that a few times. Over and over. Oh, that sounds good. One more time. Four, three. Four on the third, two on the third, the bluesy slide on the fourth, three, two, open. Then you're back to that start. And then we'll just go. I'm going to play the whole thing one time for you, nice and slow. And uh, let's just get you in the ballpark and uh, we'll work on it some more. But here's the, uh, so you got, you can think about it kind of three different sections. You got the that partial D working the fourth and third string. You got the high two strings, seven and five, and coming back down to the open first string and back to that D shape. And then the G shape, four and three. There's your G chord. You did a three string chord, four, three, three. And a bluesy slide. Okay, so here we go. I'll just play it slow. One, two, here I go. walk. First string open up to that 7-5. Second open. Bluesy. 5-4 A chord. Working the third and fourth string. Back to the high string. Here's that G chord. Bluesy slide. Starting the first phrase again. time. Bass wall. Up to that first string. Open up to that seven and five. First, second. Open D bluesy. Experiment a little bit. If you can. Third string up to that four and three. A little slidey there. One last time, a little faster.
them hole in the ground sounds pretty good to get you in the ballpark experiment a little bit but try to find those little shapes and do a little sliding and play it steady okay and remember you can slow down these videos if you need to and uh, we'll we'll do a little more of that uh, soon so enjoy your guitar and keep on picking thanks a bunch